Welcome campers. In today's video I'll be giving you a couple tips to use if you keep a bottle jack in your rig. Stay tuned. and the other accessories. The reason why I went with a Harbor Freight Jack was because of price mainly. I wanted to stay under a certain budget for this project and also the warranty. It's really no questions asked. You just buy it for, I think I paid an extra ten dollars. If I have any issues with the jack, bring it in, get it replaced on the spot and have zero issues if I'm anywhere in the country. I also have a plan with this steel that I'll show you guys. It's a little DIY project if you have a grinder and a welder. But it is a sleeved setup so it'll fit onto the piston of the jack. And then this will be scored, bended, and welded. So then it'll be a perfect cradle to cradle axle tubes so you get better lift on it and it, it's a bigger surface area than just this piston top right here. The plan now is to get some dimensions on the inside to where I will be drilling through here and through the ammo can. Looks like about two inches from here and then about six and a quarter for the second mounting point. So two inches and six and a quarter. Two inches. About six and a quarter. Perfect. Time to drill. side with a grinder so those there's no burrs now that I took the burrs off with the grinder just gonna clean it up so I can avoid as much rust as possible clean up those paint marker lines now I'm gonna clean up the burrs on the inside of the ammo can Once those are clean, there's no burrs in there. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of paint also. Now, if you're going to your local hardware store to get the hardware, the hardware I used was quarter inch by 20 bolts, or nuts, sorry, and then quarter inch by three quarter inch long bolts and four washers. Came out to about four bucks for all of it. Now once all the paint is dry, I'm going to line it up, make sure everything fits perfectly. I guess the paint wasn't extremely dry yet. Now that project is done. It should not hit the rear hatch. Perfect. All right, so now my plan with the plate steel. This is actually eight inches by four inches by three sixteenths thick. And then this tube is two inch tube, two inches long, that's eighth inch thick cost me about 20 bucks at my local me uh, metal shop. But now my plan is to mark an inch and a half on each side, an inch, and then at three inches, or an inch and a half and three inches, sorry. And then to do the same on this side, Up. 
perfect. Then this will go right in the center. Time to score it with the cutting wheel. is perfect but I just have to bend this a little bit more to get it a little straighter just like this then from there I'm just gonna weld I'm just gonna run beads tighten it up on the inside and everywhere and then hit it with the grinder to make it look better then from there the piece of pipe will go right in the center and I'll tack weld it and then I'll finish welding it and it should fit right on here like that. Beautiful. It'll be able to uh, hold the axle in place so it wouldn't slide off. And since it fits on the 8.8 .8, just fine, it should easily be able to fit on the axle tube of that Dana 30. I can it's hard to kind of get in there with the wheel I got cleaned up the best I can now it is time to put that on there so what I'm gonna do is since it's four inches wide and this is a two inch piece of pipe I'm just gonna go an inch in and mark it across and then I'll do lines going straight down to kind of square it off to put it in there to tack weld it in place squared off now I'll get that in there and start welding it on Alright, I got it all cleaned up with the grinder. The only thing left is to put it in the shop fridge to let it cool down. Now after it cooling down, I hit it with some lacquer thinner to get off any oils or any excess residue after grinding and welding. And now it is ready for paint. So I was able to get my own bottle jack, make my own axle cradle, and with the ammo can was for a fraction of the price of that other company's. And I still have a two year warranty on the jack if it does go out on me. If you had a boring weekend and need a DIY project, this would be perfect because it's all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about what I did, please comment down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.